All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Will Zanders, and I want to welcome you to this short information packed video on behalf of the Green Organics family of companies, specifically uh, GoDesana. Uh, and we want to give you some information about a new product we have coming out and why that that product may be uh, some value for you. I want to start off by letting you know that we are not going to make any medical claims today. We are not going to uh, claim that our products treat, cure, or prevent any disease, but we will present you with some third-party peer-reviewed medical information, some research, and we'll let you come to your own conclusions. Um, the first site that we're going to be citing today is going to be PubMed.gov. This is widely recognized. Uh, not only is it an official website of the United States government um, and the National Institute of Health, but it's widely recognized as the top peer-reviewed medical research depository in the world. Uh, we're going to be giving you some information from there. We're also going to be giving you some information from MDPI, which over the last almost 30 years has been an absolutely uh, incredible publisher of peer-reviewed uh, journals and medical research as well. Uh, serving the scientific community. Um, we're also going to be giving some research today from the University College of London. Uh, this institution is the number one uh, institution of higher learning in the UK and also uh, the number nine uh, institution of higher learning on the planet. And they're doing some incredible uh, research these days, uh, groundbreaking research. We want to share with you some information from them. And then last but not least today, we'll be sharing some information with you from Oxford, which is, of course, widely known as one of the uh, top institutions of higher learning in the world. In fact, if you go ahead and look right there, you'll see a link highlighted in purple that says the potential role of aluminum in Alzheimer's disease. And were you to read that article as I have, you will see that there is a definite uh, link between aluminum as Alzheimer's disease, but also aluminum and dementia. Uh, Alzheimer's disease and dementia are both going to be uh, cognitive uh, diseases. And those there's a huge link between aluminum and Alzheimer's disease. If we were to go on, you would see a PubMed.gov article as recently as 2018, although there are many, many articles that, uh, you know, we're not going to cover on this particular video for time purposes. Um, it says right there in the highlighted portion that aluminum is a known neurotoxicant, basically a neurotoxin. It's not good. And it says that it contributes to cognitive dysfunction and may contribute to Alzheimer's disease. OK, it says the important reason is that aluminum can enter and be deposited in the brain and of the routes by which aluminum could enter the brain, the two we're going to focus on today are going to be that first one, systemic circulation, and really the second one, which is the site of absorption. We're going to talk about that shortly, about how aluminum can get into your body and affect your brain over the long term, um, causing things like dementia and Alzheimer's. And again, I highly recommend that you do uh, the research for yourself, okay? But right here, also in PubMed.gov, this article as early as 1978 uh, talks about that the brains of Alzheimer's patients contain approximately 1.4 times the aluminum level found in control series. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 40% too much aluminum uh, in the human brain. And that's very, very uh, peculiar. OK, so what we want to point out is that we have a new product coming out that's going to be a deodorant. Well, why would that be important? Because underarm deodorant, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be one of the ways that aluminum, as we've seen in these articles, the ways that aluminum has gotten into uh, the human body over time. And there's not going to be a lot of finger pointing. We're not here to do that. We're just here to point out the fact that if you were to go into 80 or 90 percent of the homes in the world, especially in America, that have deodorant and you just look on the back of it uh, of your underarm deodorant, you may see on the back of it aluminum or some aluminum derivative as an active ingredient in that deodorant. And that is not a good thing. OK, over time. That uh, on that aluminum has built up uh, in your body and aluminum, oddly enough, according to the medical research, it stores in uh, the brain. In fact, another article we were reading says that aluminum is the most abundant neurotoxic metal on Earth. OK. And so once you 
know that, you'll probably want to stop using uh, the deodorant that you currently have and you want to use a deodorant that is aluminum free. And that is why the new deodorant, um, in fact, it says coming soon right here. But by the time you watch this video, it's probably already available and you can uh, get it from the person who sent you this video. You can just text them back or something and say, hey, I want to get that deodorant. It is $12.95 for two for two sticks of our uh, all natural, all organic, vegan friendly, aluminum free deodorant. It's absolutely amazing, smells incredible. And uh, you know, we got some testers out there for people who are already with the company, but you can get it now for $12.95 for two sticks. And that'll also qualify you to earn if you decide to do that. But otherwise you should get the product because it's aluminum free, all natural, all organic, and some aluminum free deodorants out there in the marketplace mm -hmm are going to have other chemicals in there that are not good for you. Even if they're not as dangerous as aluminum, they'll have some other things and we'll cover those in future videos. OK, so for people who want to just stop putting uh, aluminum into your bloodstream, um, it's going in through the underarm, which, according to some research from the University College of London, as well as MDPI, the underarm area. Uh, of, of the human being, the skin is very thin, it's very porous. And so underarm deodorant is the perfect delivery mechanism to get aluminum into the body because when it goes under the underarm, it's very, very quickly absorbed into the bloodstream because of the, uh, the, the, the physiology and the makeup of the area underneath the arm, specifically uh, the pores, the skin, the lymphatic system, and so on and so forth. And uh, that's going to be a bad thing for you over time, as we already discussed. But once you decide to stop putting aluminum into your body and use our deodorant, the second thing you can do, uh, we have a kit available that's uh, going to be um, not the $12.95 for two sticks. That's going to be the deodorant. We have a kit that runs for 60 some odd dollars. And that particular kit is going to have two sticks of deodorant in it. But that's not all. It's going to address the fact that once you stop putting deodorant in, to your, I mean, you stop putting aluminum into your body. That's the first step. The second step is you want to detox all those years of built up aluminum in your body. So the kit is specifically designed to do that. The kit is going to have char our charcoal and cacao hair and body bar in there. Why is that? Because charcoal is going to be an incredible natural detoxifying agent. So we want to stop putting the aluminum in. That's the first step. The second step is we're going to start washing with the charcoal and cacao soap for two to three weeks. And that's going to start the detox process, pulling that that aluminum, those impurities out of your body and helping your body detox. The research on the detox uh, abilities of charcoal are absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to be detoxing the body from the outside in, OK, using the charcoal soap. OK, but we're also going to include the lemon essential oil, again, all natural, all organic. And the lemon essential oil is not only uh, an antiviral, it kills bacteria and things like that. Our lemon oil is of such a high quality that you can actually and we recommend this. You actually put a few drops in a half gallon or a gallon of water. Now you just sip on that during the day. And I'll tell you two things that lemon oil does. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, our lemon oil is, is food grade. It is such a high quality of oil that you can actually consume it if you put it in water. Uh, other lemon oils, you can't consume that stuff. If people say, oh, I can just get some essential oil, some lemon oil from Walmart for two bucks. No, nah, you don't want to put that in your body. That's that, that's going to be as bad as aluminum, for goodness sakes. Uh, but our uh, lemon essential oil is pure. Um, you can put in some water to drink it. And two more things that lemon essential oil does, in addition to being anti-infection, antibacterial and antiviral, uh, the lemon essential oil is going to detox the body from the inside out. Lemon has some very, very powerful detoxing qualities. It can help get that aluminum out of your body. But also uh, another uh, thing, there was a study done by uh, a doctor from Harvard a few years back, and he discovered that on a cellular level, uh, lemon essential oil actually slows down and in some cases starts to reverse the aging process. So there's some incredible research out there 
uh, about lemon essential oil, but we definitely want the charcoal and cacao to be detoxing you from the outside in. Just get that stuff drawn out of your body. And then we're going to go ahead and start drinking the lemon oil on a daily basis, five to 10 drops in a gallon to a gallon and a half of spring water. OK, you want to use spring water um, or alkaline water, but you don't want to use um, any mainstream water bands or purified water like uh, Aquafina or Nestle or Dasani. You want to stay away from those. There are some chemicals and those that aren't good for you. But spring water, you should be pretty good to go. And you just want to sip on that water uh, throughout the day, okay? Also, in that detox kit, we have a special blend of all natural, all organic essential oils called HEPA Detox, and that's going to be specifically designed to detox the liver because when the charcoal soap and the lemon essential oil are working uh, in tandem to detox all of that aluminum that's been building up in your brain and in your body for years, the liver, your detox organ, which is the liver, it's going to be doing a lot of work and it is going to need uh, some help to really stay operating at its full potential because it has a big job to do detoxing aluminum from the body. The HEPA detox essential oil is going to de help detox your body of that aluminum, but also it's going to keep the liver healthy. It can even is proven to regenerate and rebuild liver cells. So it's going to help you complete the detox process so you can be, uh, you know, feeling fantastic. So that's what we have right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we want to make sure that you get back in touch with the person who who uh, got you this information and you uh, uh, got you this information and you can go ahead and um, get the deodorant from them at the least. But you can also get the detox kit from them. Um, again, the deodorant will run you twelve ninety five for two sticks. It's absolutely phenomenal. Money back guaranteed that you're going to love it. It's one of the best things you can do to invest in the health of the health, your health and the health of your loved ones. Um, and then you also want to go ahead and maybe get the kit so you can start detoxing uh, from from all that negative aluminum as well. Now, some people on here are going to say things like, well, we don't really want to go ahead and, uh, you know, you, we're just going to stop using deodorant altogether. Well, let me just tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is summertime. Please, for goodness sake, <laughs> for my sake and the sake of all of us around you, don't stop using deodorant. We don't want you to go around smelling odd talking about uh you know, well, I don't wear deodorant is bad for me. We have healthy alternatives here and you can get back with in touch with the person who got you that video, this video, and uh, let them know that you want to go ahead and try out that deodorant. OK, thank you so much for your time. Good night. God bless. And we will see you on the next one.